Yeah, if you're wondering, I am outside on this Lenovo T, X220T tablet, laptop, whatever, whatever you want to call it. This tiny camera, about the size of a dime, with a USB cable coming out of it. I got it off eBay, yes. If you're wondering why the table is shaking, I'm not doing that. My cat's on the other side of this long patio table, and he's doing his business and cleaning himself up and making the damn thing shake. Regardless, I don't care. The main thing I gotta mention is the USB extension cables I have, one or more of them, the power lines, you know, the four wires that make up the USB 2.0 cable, power, polarity, positive, negative, and the data lines. Well, one of the power lines is beheading itself inside the cable. And I'm not about to cut the goddamn thing open in order to fix it. So I'm gonna have to undoubtedly replace three cables. That's what's been causing this camera to go to fucking hell. That's why I had to use the other one. I had to bend the fucking cable, the extension cable, to the right position for it to not cut the power. Well, that's why this thing was not properly working. And I ruled this out with different Linux kernels. 5.4, that's pretty old. 5.8, 5.11, which I'm currently on the last known one. My graphics card has an issue with that one, so I can't use it, unfortunately, which really sucks. But until something happens, maybe it will in the future, I don't know, but whatever. Uh, that's for another video, regardless. This camera now works fine. It's dark, yes. It does not automatically adjust the exposure to compensate for very bright lights, as you can see in the top right corner, or top left corner. I don't know how it's going to appear. Yes, top right corner, sorry. It's not flipped. Otherwise, you wouldn't have seen it flipped. i got to replace three cables. Otherwise, this camera is not going to work properly. And half my other webcams weren't working properly the same way. And I can't figure out why. Well, now I know. The cables are falling apart. And yeah, now you see this fault. You see this gray flickering? I can't stop that from happening. That's actually the camera itself. Maybe because it's overheated. I don't know why. It probably is. Maybe because it's the infrared light. I got my finger around it. It's pretty damn hot. It's 32 Celsius. It's almost as hot as it was earlier outside. I'm going to cover the top of it and watch what happens. It stops. You know what I'm thinking? It's the infrared light that's causing all this. Yeah, I took the filter out. And this is what you're dealing with. It's black lines that just appear out of nowhere for no apparent reason whatsoever. I tried different Linux kernels. These do not go away. I tried different power line configurations. 50, 60 hertz is disabled. Does not do shit. Not much I can do about this, but this is just the camera. Just the way it is. Nothing I can do about it. Period. Nothing I can do. It's the infrared light. That is potentially causing all... Wow, it's actually trying to adjust to that light. How do I... There we are. Oh, fuck it, fuck it. There's nothing I can do to actually solve this. It will not stop. Yeah, me trying to block the field of vision from that street light. No, nothing can be done about this. It's a fault with the firmware and there's no way of updating this. So if you're, gonna, if you're fine with the gray lines randomly appearing on the video, that's great. If you're not, well, nothing I can do about it. Watch something else or just fucking listen to the audio. That's all you can do. I have yet to actually play this back and find out what this actually looks like. And, well, I'll probably do that right now. Give me a moment. Or not. Whatever. I'm not going to bother doing it. Because I should have done this long before I put this up. Anyways, fault with the camera. I have another one like this, but it's in my on my uh, DVR unit, so I'm not going to bother. I'm attaching it for war. I spent at least half an hour putting it up and getting it secured so it doesn't move. It's frustrating beyond belief. That probably has the same faults because it's on the same tiny board. And you get what you pay for when you get cheap shit on eBay, right? You get cheap shit, you get what you pay for. And this is what I expect. Anyways, at least it works. That's the good thing. And I've ruled out having, uh, ruled out having to buy another one. This thing costs $30, in case you're wondering. Anyways, uh, 
Thank you for watching.